Yes, Lord. Yes, with songs. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I will trust in you. Good morning, everyone. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will trust in you. Make that confession. No matter what I'm facing, no matter what comes my way. Good morning, Felicia. Blessings to you and your husband and family. Hallelujah. I will trust in you. Oh, make that confession. I will trust in you. Thank you, Lord. You are my hiding place. Good God Almighty. Thank you. No matter what I face, no matter what I'm going through, no matter how much it seems impossible, I will trust in you. Good God Almighty. I will trust in you. I'm strong in the strength of the Lord. Receive the strength of the Lord this morning. Receive the strength of the Lord this morning. Receive his strength for what you're going through. Hallelujah. I will trust in you. My God. Yes, Lord. My God, that's a beautiful song. That's a beautiful song. I will trust in you. Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. When I can't see my way, I will trust in you. Hallelujah, because you are my hiding place. Hallelujah. 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 <clears throat> mm -hmm. As you come on, if you have any prayer requests or praise reports, we would love to hear it. Any prayer requests, any praise reports. We would love to hear it this morning. Any prayer requests or praise reports. As you come on, make your declarations. I have an appointment with Breakthrough. I have an appointment with Breakthrough. The month of May and throughout this year will be a time of manifestation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Good morning, Candace. Blessings to you and your family. Hallelujah. My God, my God. Yes, Lord. My God, I love you. Father, we bless you. We bless you, Lord. Receive the strength of the Lord. I will trust in you.
Oh, you are my hiding place. Thank you, Lord. Come on, somebody make that declaration. I will trust in you, Lord. I know it's hard. I know it seems impossible. Cry out to the Lord this morning. I will trust in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God. I will trust in you, Lord. Hallelujah. When I can't see my way, when things are going good, when things are going bad, when I'm up, when I'm down, I will trust in you. When the door opens, when the door closes, I will trust in you. When the answer is yes, when the answer is no, I will trust in you. Hey, yes, Lord, my God. Oh. Lord, we will trust in you. Hallelujah. If you are going to trust in the Lord, tap that screen this morning. Come on, let me see those hearts. If you're choosing to trust in the Lord, hallelujah. If you recognize that the situation is too big for you, say, Lord, I'm going to trust in you. Hallelujah. My God. Good morning, Dina. Blessings to you and your family. I will trust in you. My God. Oh God, that's a wonderful song. I will trust in you. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I've decided a long time ago that I'm going to trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. The song said, I will trust in you because you are my hiding place. You are my hiding place. Can somebody make that declaration this morning? Lord, you are my hiding place. Lord, you are my hiding place. Whenever I am afraid, you are my hiding place. When I don't know what to do, you are my hiding place. When I need protection, you are my hiding place. Well, once again, here we are. Today is May 24th, 2019. We are on and in another Friday and another Friday this year is going by good 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 Candace good Dina Lord you are my hiding place that song ministered to me Lord have mercy I will trust in you my God hallelujah sometimes you need to hear yourself say that and you need to let everything seen and unseen know. It may not look good, but I'm trusting in the Lord. The odds may be against me, but I'm trusting in the Lord. Hallelujah. So here we are again on May 24th, 2019. This year is moving by swiftly. We're almost through this month and we'll be heading into... Uh, June, June, we'll be in June, okay? So I want you to be encouraged, stay encouraged. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, those of you who don't know our son in love, uh, he has a world title fight on Saturday. We'll be leaving out uh, shortly to go. Uh, today is the weigh-in. Uh, and it's going to be an awesome weekend. But what's greater than that? I get to see my daughter. I get to see my grandkids. That's greater than the uh, boxing match. Even though the boxing match is going to be awesome. But we get a chance to see our daughter and our grandchildren. So that's going to be awesome. 
So we're looking forward to that. All right. Also, write down this, please. Every Friday is Pastoral Favor Day. Every Friday is Pastoral Favor Day. Every Friday is Pastoral Favor Day. Uh, years ago, the uh, people on the scope came up with that every Friday would be Pastoral Favor Day. That just gives you an opportunity to sow into my life personally. If you have been encouraged, empowered, enlightened through the teachings, then every Friday is an opportunity for you to sow into my life. Now, I'm believing God that before this year is out, everybody who comes on on a Friday, everybody who comes on on Friday, every Friday, everyone who's on here will sow. Everyone on here will sow and just say, Pastor Bryant, we appreciate and we value the teaching that you've given us. But I'm going to believe that that not, not only will it happen one time, but I'm believing God that from now on, I need someone to come in agreement with me. I need somebody to come in agreement with me that from here on out, every Friday, everyone who comes on will sow into my life. Every Friday, every Friday, starting today. Everyone who comes on here on Friday. Good. Thank you, Felicia. That every Friday, people will sow from here, from this day until uh, from now on. That people will say, not only will they say we value and we appreciate, but they'll do it by sowing. Because every Friday is that opportunity. So thank you for coming into agreement. That's all I need. I just need one person to come into agreement with me. And now I've got my agreement. So it is so. And so it is. Okay. All right. Let's go today. As I told you, my son in love, he will be fighting for the world title. This week will be a productive and a fruitful weekend for us and for him. So he'll be in all kinds of meetings, doing all kinds of interviews. So we'll be up there uh, with him also. But we are excited. God bless you, Kadir. God bless you, Kadir. God bless you. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, you're about to see uh, the hand of God move on your life like never before. Okay? And God is about to blow your mind. He's about to blow my mind of what he's going to manifest in the future. God bless you, Kiana. God bless you, Kiana. God bless you, Kadir. Blessings to you and your family. Blessings to you and your family. I just stated something. I'm going to say it for everyone who comes on. Every Friday is Pastoral Favor Day. Every Friday is Pastoral Favor Day. I'm believing God from today until forever. As long as we're doing this, every Friday, everyone who comes on will sow a pastoral favor into that day. Every person that comes on will sow. That's an opportunity to sow into my life. Uh, I come on with you Monday through Friday. If your life has been impacted or encouraged through the teaching, then I'm believing God that Every Friday, everybody who comes on will sow. Okay? I already had one person agree with me. Can I get anybody else to come into agreement with me? Because I'm believing that. Because we are going to uh, appreciate, not just with words, God so loved the world that he gave. God so loved the world that he gave. His love was demonstrated. So I'm believing God that everyone who comes on, everyone who hears this by replay will begin to say, you know what? I don't know this man, but I'm enjoying the teaching. I'm being impacted. I want to sow. Okay. Now let me give you a way to do it. Someone write this down because I, I wasn't even thinking about that. I can't assume that everybody knows. Somebody put our website down, www.fhgm.org. 
forhisgloryministries.org. F-H-G-M.org. Good. Thank you, Kadir. And then our cash app, the dollar sign, Favorware. So you can sow through the website. You can sow through the cash app, dollar sign, Favorware. Or you can sow, thank you, Kadir, uh, P.O. Box 3471, Riverview, Florida, 33568. P.O. Box 3471, P.O. Box 3471, Riverview, Florida, 33568. Okay, those are three ways that you can sow. Okay, but I'm believing God that everyone who comes on here on Friday will say from now on, I want to set aside something to be a blessing to the man of God every Friday. I want to do that. God bless you, D. Arthur. Blessings to you, man of God. I already know you're in agreement with me, but I'll say it. I already know you're in agreement with me. I'm believing God and I'm asking the people to come into agreement with me that every Friday from now on, every Friday from now on, I'm believing God that everybody who comes on here will sow into our pastoral favor day. Everybody, everybody. And not only one time, but I'm believing every Friday that people will start putting aside something to be a blessing to the man of God's life, okay? I know you will come in agreement with me with that. I know that, man of God, because you have been faithful, you and your wife. So, uh, But I'm believing God for that, okay, every Friday, that I won't even have to mention it because people will know, hey, this is what we do every Friday. We want to be a blessing to the man of God. He comes on Monday through Friday. He sows into our life. No matter where he's at, he takes the time to sow into our life. Well, we're going to sow back into his. Okay? So thank you. Thank you for coming into agreement with me. Also, put down there June. Put down there June because June is fastly approaching. I was just talking with someone yesterday. Thank you, man of God. I was just, oh, how'd you do on the test? Did you get your results from the test yet? Did you get your re results from the test? June. June is the month. I was just talking with someone yesterday. They were so excited. They said, I can't wait to give my seed because the Lord told me he's going to stretch me in June. He's going to stretch me financially. And so I've heard what he told me to do. Okay. All right. That's all right. That's all right. Father, we thank you that every delay works in his favor. You know what you're doing. So we trust you. We trust you. You said in everything, give you thanks. So we give you thanks. And we thank you for open doors. We thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you praise. Awesome. All right. Hallelujah. So June is the month that God stretches us. That's the month that God stretches us. Okay. That's the month. So whatever God leads you to do, then you do that. Okay. But in the month of June, at the beginning, in the middle, but before June is out, we're going to sow that seed, okay? How many of you on here, God has already spoke to you what to do? How many of you on here, God has spoke to you what to do? A couple of people already told me they already know what the Lord shared with them to do. How many on here already know what you're going to do? Okay. That's the first time I've seen that. I saw... Instead of a heart, I saw, instead of a heart, I saw uh, a camera go up in there. I've never seen that before. That's something new. Okay. Please, ma'am, please, sir, do me a favor. Be praying for our son in love. He will be fighting for the world title this weekend. We're on our way there to be with them, him, and also my daughter and our grandchildren. So we are excited. We are excited. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go today. I want to share something with you today. Let's go. 
I took a screenshot. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, good. I, I didn't know I had never seen that before. I, I Good. I saw a camera floating, so I didn't know what in the world that was. I said, boy, uh, one thing about this social media, uh, you'll see all types of things. Yeah, you'll see all types of things. So thank you so much. I, I never seen that before. So that's funny that you say that. Okay. Yesterday we talked about uh, keeping your focus. Write that down, please. Keep your focus. Write that down, please. Keep your focus. Write that down. Keep your focus. Okay. No matter what takes place, keep your focus. Keep your focus. Don't let things distract you. Keep your focus. Okay. Keep your focus. Good. Thank you. Keep your focus. Okay. Good. Keep your focus. Good. Excellent. Okay. Write this down. The secret of success is concentration. The secret of success is concentration. The secret of success is concentration. Keep your focus. The secret to your success, Kadia. Is concentration. The secret to your success, Felicia, is concentration. The secret to your success, Candace, is concentration. Isaiah 26 and 3. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him. That's concentration. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him. Okay? So keep your focus. The secret of success is concentration. Number two, the cause of failure is broken focus. Okay. Number one, the secret of success is concentration. Number two, the cause of failure is broken focus. Somebody write that down for me. Okay. Somebody write that down. Number one, we're talking about keep your focus. Number one, the secret of success is concentration. Number two, the cause of failure is broken focus. Okay. Number three. Disconnect from every distraction. Number three, disconnect from every distraction. You've got to examine your life. Anything, anyone who is distracting you, you've got to disconnect from it. Okay? Number one, the secret of success is concentration. Isaiah 26 and 3. Number two, the cause of failure is broken focus. Number three, disconnect from every distraction. Okay. Do me a favor. Can you tap that screen if you're receiving? I don't know if the uh, screen got stuck or what. I don't know if the screen got stuck or what. Can you still see me? Is it frozen? Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, good. Good. Okay. Number one, the secret of success is concentration. Number two, the cause of failure is broken focus. Number three, disconnect from every distraction. Okay. Number four, fix your focus. Fix your focus. How do you know if you should fix your focus? Depending on your feelings. If you have negative feelings, you need to fix your focus. Number one, the success, the secret of success is what? Concentration, Isaiah 26 and 3. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him. Number two, the cause of failure is broken focus. Number three, dis disconnect from every distraction. Number four, fix your focus. 
Okay. Tap that screen. Tap that screen, please, if you're receiving. I need someone to write those four things down, please. I need someone to write those four things down. So when uh, people come back on or when you go back, it'll just be easy for you to grab hold of it. God bless you, Anthony. God bless you, man. God blessings to you and your family. God bless you, Lois. Good morning. Blessings to you. Blessings to you. Pray that you had a wonderful night. I don't know if you ever got my message I sent back to you. Uh, all right. This morning, our subject is keep your focus. Our subject this morning is keep your focus. Anthony, keep your focus. Lois, keep your focus. Candace, keep your focus. The author, keep your focus. Okay. Okay, good. All right, I'll help you out. All right. Today, our subject is keep your focus, Kiana. Keep your focus, Kadia. Good. Number one. Number one, the secret of success is concentration. Write that down. Number one, the secret of success is concentration. Isaiah 26 and 3. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him. The secret of success is concentration. Number two, the cause of failure is broken focus. So the secret of success is concentration. The cause of failure is broken focus. Thank you, Anthony. Number one, the secret of success is concentration. Isaiah 26 and 3, thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him. That's concentration. Number two, the cause of failure is broken focus. Two, the cause of failure is broken focus. Why do men and women fail? Broken focus. Every time you have failed in your life, you look back, you can connect it to broken focus. Okay. Number three. Disconnect. That's okay. All right. Bless you, Wendy. Love you. How's, how did the graduation go? We were rejoicing with James. We're talking about keep your focus. Today, we're talking about keep your focus. That's what we're talking about today. Keep your focus. Okay. Number one. The secret of success is concentration. Number two, the cause of failure is broken focus. Number three, disconnect from every distraction. Number four, fix your focus. Okay. Excellent. He graduated with honors. Once again, we want to say congratulations to James. James has graduated with a master's in social work with honors. Can we say congratulations to James? He graduated yesterday with a master's in social work with honors. So we want to, good, thank you. Thank you, Kiana. We want to congratulate James. Uh, he graduated with a master's and social work with honors. So we are saying, God bless you, and great doors shall open up for you, and you are destined for greatness. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. We rejoice with those who rejoice. We're excited for him. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, good. All right. We're talking about keep your focus. Somebody put all four of those things. Can you put all four of those things down? Our subject is keep your focus. Number one, the secret of success is concentration. Number one, the secret of success is concentration. Isaiah 26 and 3. Number two, the cause of failure is broken focus. 
You can track every failure to broken focus. Why did Samson fail? Broken focus. Okay. Number three. Disconnect from every distraction. Number four. Fix your focus. If you're going to keep your focus, number one. You must realize that the secret of success is concentration. Number two, the cause of failure is broken focus. Number three, you must disconnect from every distraction. And number four, you must fix your focus. Thank you, Kiana. Thank you, Wendy. Good. How do you know if you should fix your focus? Because what are you feeling? If you got negative feelings, you got to fix your focus. Remember what I told you. Your mind is deciding your feelings. Good morning, Danielle. Blessings to you. Your mind is deciding your feelings. Okay? And then your focus creates your feelings. Your focus creates your feelings. So if you got negative feelings is because you have the wrong focus. And if you have the wrong focus, you've got to fix your focus. Okay, good. All right. So today our subject, the subject is fix your focus. Number one, the secret of success is concentration. The secret of success is concentration. Blessings to you and your family. The secret of success is concentration. Isaiah 26 and 3, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on him. Number two, the cause of failure is broken focus. Number three, disconnect from every distraction. Whether it's a person, whether it's a thing, you've got to disconnect from every distraction. Number four, fix your focus. Number five, number five, make tomorrow so big in your mind that yesterday dies. Make tomorrow so big in your mind that yesterday dies. The, the quickest way to get over a bad past is to create an amazing future. Let me say that again. The quickest way to get over a bad past is to create an amazing future. And I decree and declare that God is going to help you create an amazing future. Some of you have had some setbacks. Some of you have made mistakes. Some of you have uh, did all kind of things. And you've had a bad past. But guess what? The quickest way to get over that is to create an amazing future. Your mistakes are not sovereign. All of us have made mistakes. Don't you allow them to rule over your life. God will turn your mistakes into ministry. God will turn your disaster into deliverance. You've got to allow him to turn it around. Allow God to help you create an amazing future. That's what I'm believing God for. I'm believing God for good, good, good. Yeah, learn, learn, learn. Okay, good. There you go, Kiana. I will allow God to help me create an amazing future. Come on, everybody make that confession. I will allow God to help me create an amazing future. Come on, make that confession. I will allow God to help me create an amazing future. I will allow God to help me create an amazing future. Because sometimes when you have made mistakes, come on, you feel like you're not worthy. When you have made mistakes, you feel like you have to pay for those mistakes. So you accept things and you settle for things because you think those things are consequences to your mistake. 
But I came to let you know that your mistakes are not sovereign. They will not have the last say so over your life. God will have the final say over your life. And God says, this is not a period. It is a comma. This is not the end. It is a new beginning. There's something on the other side of the comma. My God, a new chapter, a new beginning. You be encouraged. God bless you, Shakisha. Blessings to you and your family. Hallelujah. Come on, if you're receiving this morning, tap that screen. If you're receiving this morning, tap that screen. If you're being empowered, enlightened, my encouraged by the scope this morning, we're talking about keep your focus. That's our subject. Keep your focus. Number one, the secret of success is concentration. The secret of success is concentration. Isaiah 26 and 3. Hallelujah. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Number two, the cause of failure is broken focus. Every error you have failed, it is because of your focus being broken. Anybody in the Bible, whether it's Samson, whether it's David, whoever it was, they failed when their focus was broken. Number three, disconnect from every distraction. Number four, fix your focus. Number five, make Tomorrow so big in your mind that yesterday dies. The quickest way to get over a bad past is to create an amazing future. The quickest way to get over a bad past is to create an amazing future. Allow God to create an amazing future. My God, hallelujah. Your mistakes are not sovereign. Your mistakes does not have the last word in your life. Don't you allow your mistakes to have the last word. What I love about God, he never allows your failure to be final. Let me say that again. He never allows your failure to be final. He never allows your failure to be fatal. Hallelujah. We look in the Bible, we see a man named Peter. The Bible said that he took his eyes off of the Lord and he began to sink. He began to sink. Come on. He began to sink. And the Bible said he cried out, Lord, save me. And the Bible said immediately God stretched his hand. Jesus stretched forth his hand and got him up and they walked back to the ship. Come on. They walk back to the ship. I'm so glad that God is writing the story because he won't let your life end with you going down. This word is for somebody this morning. God said, I'm not going to let it end with you going down. Danielle, I'm not going to let it end with you going down. My God, the last time they saw you, you were going down. The last time they saw you, you were doing bad. The last time they saw you, you were almost out for the count. My God, when they walked out of your life, they thought it was over. They thought you were going to lose your mind. When they left you, it caught you by surprise. It left you half dead. But I'm so glad that you are half alive. And because you are half alive, you're going to make a comeback. You're going to bounce back from this. My God, somebody tap that screen. Hallelujah. I'm going to bounce back. I'm coming back from this. Hallelujah. Remember, it's not what happens to you. It's the story you tell yourself. Let me say that again. It's not what happens to you. It's the story you tell yourself. They walk out of my life, but that's not the end because they're not my source. God is my source. Hallelujah. Remember that it's not what happens to you. It's the story you tell yourself. Now, you can have a setback, but you can say, I'm going to be stuck the rest of my life. Or you can tell yourself, this setback 
is a setup for a comeback. Hallelujah. Come on. Can I ask you a question this morning, Shakisha? What are you telling yourself? Can I ask you a question this morning, Danielle? What are you telling yourself? Can I ask you a question this morning? What are you saying to yourself? I know you had a setback. I know people left you. I know it's difficult, but what are you telling yourself, Kadia? What are you telling yourself, Kiana? What are you telling yourself, Wendy? Good. I will not fail. Good. I have the victory. Good. Hallelujah. I will come back. I will come back from this. I am built for this. Hallelujah. I can handle this. I am equipped for this. I will get double for my trouble. I will be above and not beneath. Hallelujah. What are you telling yourself? Good. I will come back stronger. Good, 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 good. Hallelujah. Remember, always remember, somebody write that down. It's not what happens to you. It's the story you tell yourself. Write that down. Write that down. It's not what happens to you. It's the story you tell yourself. Remember that. That's a principle I teach all over. That's a principle I teach all the time. Because all of us have been through things. So it's not what you have been through. It's the story you tell yourself. What are you telling yourself? Hallelujah. Are you going to sit around and talk about the car that got repossessed? Are you going to sit around and talk about the house that you lost in foreclosure? Are you going to sit around and talk about the relationship that did not work? Or are you going to say, because I had it before, I'll have it again. And be this time, I will not only obtain, but I will maintain. That word is for somebody this morning. My God, I will have it again. My God, devil, you messed up. The first time you let me get it, my God. So now I know I can get it again. And I decree and declare over your life, you will get it again. Not only will you obtain it, but you're going to maintain it. And this time it's going to be better. God, hallelujah. This time that man, that woman is going to appreciate you. That man, that woman is going to honor you. You're going to have it better. You thought that relationship was great before. Hallelujah. But it ended. But this one, it's going to be better. This one is going to be make you stronger. Hallelujah. Oh, tap that screen this morning. Come on, tap that screen. I got to go. Hallelujah. 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 My God, we give you glory. My God, we give you glory. My God, we give you praise. My God, we give you praise. Come on, you hear me. Your mistakes are not sovereign. This morning, God says, Felicia, either you're going to rehearse your victories or you're going to rehearse your mistakes. There you go. Excellent. Did you hear me? The Lord said this morning, either you're going to rehearse your victories or you're going to rehearse your mistakes. You've got to start rehearsing your victories. You've got to say if he did it before, he'll do it again. You've got to say, I beat the bear. I beat the lion and I'm going to beat this giant. You've got to rehearse your victories. Stop rehearsing your mistakes. You keep talking about your mistakes. Stop. My God, bury those mistakes. Hallelujah. That's over. My God, rehearse your victories. I be, listen to what David said when the giant came up against them. David said, you, you got it twisted. You think because you're taller, my God, you can beat me. You think because you're bigger, you can beat me, but you don't know I beat the lion and I beat the bear. And it wasn't me, but God enabled me to do it. And if God can help me beat the lion, if God can help me beat the bear, he's going to help me beat you. And I want you to know you made it this far 
by the grace of God, you didn't get here because you're wise. You didn't get here because you're strong. You got here by the grace of God. There were times when you didn't know how you were going to make it, but God kept you. There were times when you thought you were going to lose your mind, but God kept you. How many people on this scope realize I'm here by the grace of God? If you know you are here by the grace of God, tap that screen. Let me see those hearts. If you know you are here by the grace of God, tap that screen. My God, if you know you're still alive, because it is the grace of God. Hallelujah. My God. God kept you. Hallelujah. When you didn't want to keep yourself, God kept you, Daniel. He was with you. When people walked away from you, when you didn't know what to do, God kept you. Hallelujah. Can you thank him for keeping you? Can you thank him for keeping you? Can you thank him? for keeping you. My God, the songwriter said, Felicia, he didn't have to do it, but he did. My God, Valerie, good morning. The songwriter said he didn't have to do it, but he did. Hallelujah. He woke me up this morning. He started me on my way. He didn't have to do it, but he did. He didn't have to bless me, Shakisha, but he did. He didn't have to save me, Anthony, but he did. He didn't have to love me, the author, but he did. He didn't have to suffer, but he did. I'm so glad he did, Lois. He didn't have to do it. My God, I've made enough mistakes for all of us, but because of his grace, because of his mercy, he kept me, and he said, Michael, it is not over. He said, Michael, your best days are ahead of you. I decree and declare that your best days are ahead of you. Your worst days are behind you. Rejoice. 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 Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. I got to go this morning. I got fired up. My God, your best days, Shakisha, are ahead of you. My God, your latter end shall greatly rejoice. That is the word of God. Your latter end shall greatly rejoice. My God, your latter end shall greatly rejoice. My God, devil, you are a liar. Candace, your best days are ahead of you. Candace, your best days are ahead of you. Candace, don't be afraid to let go of what is in your hand to reach to what God has promised. I promise you, your best days are ahead of you. God's going to blow your mind in your future. My God, your future is so much better than what you are experiencing now. Holly, good. Good. Confirmation. Good. All right. I got to go. Come on, tap that screen if you're being blessed. I got a couple of meetings today. I got my son in love. He's going to be fighting for the world title. Hallelujah. My God, we love you. We praise you. We honor you. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. We bless your kandamo kodabashete. Thank you, man of God. All right, before we leave, somebody write this down, please. Pastoral favor day. Write that down, please. Write that down. Pastoral favor day. Today, Friday. Every Friday is Pastoral Favor Day. I need everybody on here to come into agreement with me. What is your son's name? Oh, Jamel Heron. Jamel Heron. Jamel Heron. H-E-R-R-I-N-G. I'll send you a flyer after. I'll send you a flyer after this. Pastoral Favor Day. Okay. Pastoral Favor Day. Every Friday. From now, from this Friday to every Friday that we come on, I'm believing God that every Friday, everybody on here will sow. Every Friday, everybody on here will sow. Every Friday is pastoral faith. I'm believing God that you will begin to set aside and say, Pastor Bryant, we appreciate you coming on here and sowing into our life Monday through Friday. Every Friday, I'm going to sow into your life. Every Friday. This is my opportunity. I'm going to take advantage of it. You, t you take advantage of the opportunity to sow into me, then I'm going to at least sow into you once a week. 
Okay, every Friday. If you will come into agreement with me, I want you to say, Pastor Bryant, I'm in agreement. Just put agreement. Put agreement. I need you. I already had a couple of people already do it, come in agreement. But I'm believing that everybody who comes on here, everybody who comes on here, everybody who watches this will begin to sow. Every week. We don't have to talk about it no more. But everybody who comes on here, good. I see that. I see that. I see that. I see that, Valerie. I see that, Wendy. I see that, Tony. I see that, Anthony. Okay? Everybody who comes on here every Friday. Okay? Every Friday. I want you to come in the grid. Every Friday. I look forward to sowing into you every day. I look forward to sowing into you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Tuesday night. I look forward to it. I look forward to it. Why? Because I am anointed to do what I do. And number two, I love to encourage people. I love to push people into their destiny. I love it. Anyone who knows me know I've been doing this for 30 years. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love to rejoice with other people. Yesterday when James graduated with his master's in social work, my God, I wanted to be his biggest cheerleader. I wanted to be his biggest cheerleader because I was excited. Why? Because I had been praying for him. I had been praying him through. I have stood with him through this process. I, I, I appreciate that he allowed us to play a part in this process. So when he finally went across that stage, I was, I was excited. And then his mother told me she was there. And that, yes, it was amazing. So it, it, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Especially when you know a little bit about people's journey. See, when you know a little bit about people's journey, then it makes you excited because they did not give up. 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 Okay. And guess what? The road is not always easy. But remember, it's not what happens to you. It's the story you tell yourself. Okay. And me and James used to always say, I said, James, you are going to finish strong. You are going to finish strong. That's all I kept saying to him. You're going to finish strong. You're going to finish strong. You're going to finish strong. Okay. You're going to finish strong. Okay. And it's no joke when you're writing papers, five page papers, 10 page paper, whatever amount of paper. All of you who've been to college and know about writing those papers and staying up and doing all nighters, that's no joke. Okay. But thank God. Thank God. All right, we love you. I want you all to stand with me today. Today is pastoral favor day. It is your opportunity. So remember, do something today. Do something today. And work in full time. Yes, that's good. Work in full time and got his master's. Okay? So there's no excuses. You can do it. Do something today to increase your value. Number two, keep seed in the ground. Number three, Use your words to frame your world. Number four, don't let anything steal your joy. Number five, keep your focus. 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 Okay? Keep your focus. All right. Well, I got to go. I got a long and productive weekend. Watch ESPN. Somebody write that down. ESPN tomorrow night, the 25th. Tomorrow night, ESPN at 10 o'clock. It will come on. It will be the world title fight. ESPN, 10 o'clock. Jamel Heron is his name. Our son in love. Watch it tomorrow night, 10 p.m. 10 p.m. You'll probably see me in the front. You'll probably see me in the front. Me and my daughter are going to be right there by the ring. Look for the guy in the pink outfit. Look for the guy in the pink outfit. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> ESPN. Yeah, 10 p.m. Okay. They'll be doing his story all day long, all day long tomorrow. Okay, but we're grateful to God. 
And I'm believing God that you will live out your dream. Well, we love you all. You be encouraged. Amen. Yes, 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 yes. All right. We love you all. God bless you. Remember the seven blessings. Number one, number one, you will receive a hundredfold return. Number two, you will wax great. Number three, you will become very great. Number four, the world will envy you. Number five, nothing or no one will stop your flow. Number six, you will be fruitful in the land. And number seven, God is making room for you. If you don't have a church home and you would love to sow into our ministry and become a part of our family, go to www.fhgm.org. Somebody put up our website. Thank you for sowing. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for supporting us. Have a wonderful weekend. Be, have a safe Memorial Day weekend. If you're on that road, we pray for traveling mercies for you. God bless you. We love you.